Ooh, big fingers. So, uh, welcome back, and as you can see, there, we have the hands of the mouter. The mouter mouter, the pink one. Big pink one with dust inside it. I haven't got to servicing that yet, as I will make a series on it, and this will be part of the series, I'm just leading up to it. Um, the luminous hands, which I savagely scraped the paint out of in the garden with a screwdriver and a paintbrush, um, have received a new dose of luminous paint from me. Um, I've used this paint again. Um, the last time I did it, it was my, I think it's, um, I think it's my most disliked video actually, I don't know why, probably because everyone thinks it's got radium in it, but um, I think if it had radium in it, um, it wouldn't be allowed to be sold. Um, and if and if it is, then I'll need a lawyer or something probably. So um, here we have the hands with luminous paint. Well, it's luminous. It's glow in the dark, not luminous proper. I mean, look. Oh, it's not dark enough. Uh, hang on a minute. I'm gonna close all the windows and close all the blinds and everything. Turn off the lights, and then you can really see how luminous this paint is. So I've turned all the lights off except this one, and let's get a zoom in. Of the, I can't zoom them in really, because uh, I can't move these closer, can I? Hang on a minute. This is how we do it in the channel. Put one there, and I'll put one there. We can zoom in. Now, ready for this? This is like some sort of piece of modern art. I love these hands, they're a brilliant design, aren't they? I don't know what you call it. I like diamonds, they're like crystals or something. They're oh, cool. Anyway. Ooh, can you see that on the camera? I don't know. Well, they're like glowing green anyway. Um, they probably need to dry out before I do anything to them. <coughs> mm. uh, but yeah, I'll leave these to dry. Hopefully it won't drip all over the place. Because it's quite loopy, whippily, plippity paint. But yeah. Um, and unlike last time, I'm actually using just the paint to hold them in. And it's doing a pretty good job. With the Bonita and stuff, I actually just put a piece of paper, glued it behind uh, well, he's sol a self-adhesive paper and put the paint on that. But actually, um, I've sl I've taken, I've drained, well I haven't drained it, I've mixed up this paint a little bit more and I've sort of dabbed some of the water out of it, blotted some of the water I put in ages ago. I don't know why I was putting water in it was a good idea, because it wasn't. Um, and but a little bit of water helps to cling to stuff and stops it being literally like cheese or sand or something. But um, not too much, otherwise it just turns to liquid, and it's not as luminous as you'd hope. But this one looks pretty good, and um, it glows, the, on the Bonita glows for a good hour. Um, once you turn off the lights, because it doesn't have any radium in it or anything, uh, so it's literally just the phosphorus paint, I think, that's glowing, or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, this, the paint itself is bridging the hands. There's no paper back there, so hopefully that's more, well, it is more authentic, but also... Um, it just shows how good paint this is, and if you can read, I think this is Chinese. Um, hang on a minute, there we go. If you can read that, I'd love to know what it says, uh, because I can't read Chinese. Oop, Seth Thomas, one o'clock. I think it might be. That means it's time for ending the video.